Hi, so what's going on here? We're outside the Mayfair Hotel in London where activists have uh, locked on to the doors, uh, glued on, and they've also dropped a big banner saying end oil colonialism. That's what's going on here. There's the Africa Energy Summit uh, taking place right now with uh, some VIP guests, uh, big CEOs from some of the largest energy companies in the world, and delegates from across Africa. And what they're going to be doing here is making new deals and contracts. Um, and they're basically using energy, whether it's oil, gas, sometimes renewables, but it's a tiny percentage of it, mainly oil and gas, they're using energy as a lever to extract the wealth from African people, from right underneath their feet. Uh, what happens is it drives nations into debt. Uh, you can see this right now, Benin, Burkina Faso, the Gambia, Ghana, uh, Guinea-Bissau, uh, Togo, Senegal, Niger, Nigeria, all of these countries are in debt distress. That means so much of their debt, is, uh, so much of their GDP, what they're making every month, what the state's making is being paid back to service debt uh, to, to, the, to the rich nations. And so right now what's happening is, is that. And energy is the lever that they're using to extract more of that wealth. And that debt is putting future generations, they're making future generations pay, and we're not seeing any kind of development. That's the lie that they're going to be spinning, that this is all about development. But as has been going on in Africa for literally hundreds of years now, this is conscious underdevelopment of Africa. And, and it's absolutely terrible. And we're trying to send a really, really clear message that our generation, the people coming up now, we do not believe that a country needs to grow forever. That is completely insane. That is sickness. That is greed. What we're asking is they stop. They must stop. Because they have a debt to pay. And if they don't pay it willingly, it will be taken from them. More and more people are taking to the streets. And that's absolutely right. We need to absolutely transform our systems right now. And so a conference like this shouldn't be taking place. And if it should, it should all be about justice for Africa. And that means cancel the debt, give back the land, pay loss and damage, repair the damage that's been done. No more oil. Hello, great people. Hello, great people. Great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome to IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. I still remain the Biafran child watching like a Mazo Kichuku, the general. My great people, I hope every one of us understand every single word that come out from this man's mouth. Now, do you now begin to understand that Africa is in serious problem? Now, do you begin to understand that British people want to grow forever? Now, do you understand that, you see, Africa, they are not contributing to the GDP of the world. Now, do you hold it from them direct? Because most of the time, I'm telling my people all these things. They don't seem to understand what I'm talking about. Mostly our people that never traveled before. If you are telling them that a place like Nigeria is a hellfire, they don't seem to understand it. We have traveled. That is why I always tell my people, respect a traveler. Respect a traveler. Because we, I, I, like, like person like me, I have saw a lot. I have saw a lot. I have saw how, I mean, systems supposed to be working. That is why I always shout on top of my voice. Now, do you now understand? They are going summit. This is a summit, African summit, to, to renew the contract. It, now, to, I mean, to renew the contract is for them to keep on being a slave. Now do you begin to understand that British people are the problem of those countries they call? They call Ghana. And uh, Zuko Nigeria also involved. Now do you understand the reason why they don't want to give referendum to Biafran people? Because of your oil and gas. British people will keep on, you see, they want to suck us dry and milk us I mean, with nothing. That is exactly what they are doing. And the new generation of British people, because this man that is speaking, that we just listened to him, is also said that they don't want such a thing to happen again. They should clear the debts of people. 
Because what these people are doing, that is why you see Katona Lai running like a he goat from one governor to another governor, from another state house to another state house. Because they want to renew their contract. They want to keep on sucking our oil. They want to keep on milking us till dry. This is what they are trying to do. And as we have heard it, they, you heard from the man. He said, the man also explained in details how Africa is suffering. The man also explained in details that British people want to remain in power forever. They want to remain number one forever. That means that they want to keep Africa a slave forever. They are going a, 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 a summit for the, for, for, the, for, the, for the colonies. Those people that have already colonized. That is what they are doing now. And, oh my God, oh my God. Have you, uh, listen to me, my great people. Have you people, I hope you people have right BBC today. I hope you people have right BBC. Because you see BBC, they are Great Britain. They, they know what they are doing. The same propaganda, they have chased them away from all over the place. Asian people have chased them away. Now they remain in Africa. They want to suck us dry. That is why today they are killing people in Biafra land. British people cannot write anything about it. Because they want to make the world, they want to blind the world. They want to let the world understand that nothing is going on down there. Because they want to suck us and milk us dry. Because of our resources. Because of gas and oil. I did, the, the guy have explained every details. You know, when I'm telling my people all these things, they will say, I like to talk. I don't like to talk. What I'm bringing to my people is reality. I bring you reality. I tell you things the way it's supposed to be. I don't bring anything called political correctness. We nail it. I nail things. I open my mouth widely and say things the way it is. Without owing anybody apology. Because we have come. We have come to let our people understand. And here on IPOB Rapture Media is where we are setting the record straight. We tell you without fear of nobody, any bagger. Now you understand what I'm talking about. And make sure you write BBC today. Make sure you call BBC today. Make sure. Keep on telling them what is happening. Also, at the same time, tag them with this video of this, a British man that tired about the evil that British people are committing against African people. The guy is tired. He said that that is the way they are extorting money from Africa. And that is how Africa will remain poor, especially Zuko, Nigeria. And when we are talking about that Zuko, Nigeria, the oil is from Biafra land. That is why British people hate you with passion. That is why British people will bring you a Anglican church. But they are supporting uh, 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 Islamists Wahhabist terrorists, that is those that they're supporting today. That to show you that religion has nothing to do with extorting money from you, by stealing from you, by making you poor and poor, by enslaving you. It has nothing to do with uh, a, a, a religion. Now I want us to begin to understand that you see these British people we are talking about. They are the root of our problem. If you people haven't forgotten what happened 1967 19 to 1970, British people are those that brocage, those that have stopped everything coming in in Biafra land. And I said they are stopping the food and our, our children. That is where I get my name from, Biafran child. And they have settled in me. And I will, I will always talk about them. When they were blockaging the food and all the things that are supposed to come in Biafra land, our people begin to develop what they call Kwashoko. A young baby of five years will be pregnant. I want to tell you what British people did in 1967 to 1970. Because of gas and oil, because of your gas, that's nothing else. They will keep us making you poor. That is why. And some of us that we never traveled before, 
or some of us that went to school in that contraption called Aminibu Zoo. Because all the school that you people went there is just for nothing. You people don't know nothing. Now you understand. The man has said it all. So they are, when they, are, they, are, they are in summit how to renew the contract of enslavement. Now you understand. To renew the contract of enslavement that before you become a president, you have to travel to Britain. Before you become anything, you have to travel to Britain. And that is something that is, is unacceptable. That is why we are working, uh, we are working so hard to make sure that Biafra comes so that Africa will grow. Now you understand. There is no how Africa will grow with this system of British people, with BBC, with their lies and disinformation. BBC is number one disinformation. Make sure that this video get to them. Make sure you tag them today. Make sure you call them today. I mean BBC. Call them. Write them. Keep on calling them. Keep on disturbing them. Tell them what is going on so that they will understand. Now, they are beginning to tell you your story. You know why I bring this video to our people? For them to see. Because if the Biafran child in Washington okay, is saying all this, some will say, I just like to gossip. I greet you great people of Biafra. Good day and welcome.